Hello everybody, welcome to another episode of um, my video. I'm going to start saying that just from now on. Uh, this time I have got this 16 pieces of 3000 ferret 2.7 volt capacitor super cap for a project. I am building a integrated amp approximately 25 to 28 watts per channel and I have to run that amp for at least one hour at 3 to 5 watt power without AC input, without AC power. So that's why I got these 16 pieces of 3000 ferry cap uh, to begin with and see how far I can go with, uh, with the amp. It all depends on how much current draws and stuff like that. So, but since I get these 16 pieces of big caps, like big caps in the house, and I thought I'm going to use that for different purpose before I start to build the amps. Multi-purpose because it's just 3,000 thread and 2.7 uh, volt cap. Um, what it um, interests me that a uh, couple months ago that there was a there was a YouTube video that's uh, circling, circling around and a lot of people are impressed by it because uh, the person that in the video was actually did a 3,000 ferret uh, capacitance power supply. A lot of people was impressed by it. He was did it, he did it for a preamp, I believe, and he used a um, Eaton 3000 ferret 3 volt capacitor uh, super cap, and this is Kyocera AVX 3000 ferret 2.7 volt. For discussion's sake, let's call them the same, so we're not going to get too confusing. What he did was uh, putting four of those 3000 ferret cap together to build a 3000 ferret cap for plus and minus 5 volt. How did he do that? Now first of all, we got to understand a, a several things. Capacitor, when you put them in parallel, like so, put them in parallel, you double the capacitance. But when you put them in series, like so, you divided, you divided the capacitance by half. But since the capacitor is only 3 volt, he has to put two of these capacitors together to build up a total of six volt um, holding voltage that, so that he can put a five volt in, into, the, into the, uh, the chain and still have one volt of safety margin. So what he did was this. Let's put two of them in a positive rail and two of them in a negative rail. And this is a ground. This middle is a ground. The positive is a positive rail. The negative is a negative rail. So therefore, he has the positive rail as two of them together as 1500 ferrets and two of them together as 1500 ferrets for the negative rail. Add them both together equal to 3000 ferrets. Now in my case, I'm going to use 16 of this capacitor in series to build up a 21.6 volt power supply. Because the 2.7 volt times 8 is equal to 21.6 with, with the maximum voltage of 21.6, but I'm going, only going to put in plus and minus 15. <clears throat> Excuse me. So there, there is going to be enough safety margin for the capacitor. And <clears throat> so now we are only talking about we are only talking about the holding capacity holding capacitance by the actual voltage of the capacitor. There is uh, actually operational voltage of the power supply, which is always lower than the maximum voltage of the capacitor, which can hold. Otherwise, there will be no safety margin, and we need to have enough safety, safety margin to not, not damage the cap in the long run. So when we talk about 3,000 um, ferret capacitance and calculating the power the, or the energy storage, we are going to use the capacitor voltage instead of the operational voltage because operational voltage that's another story, another topic altogether. We can I can set up and do another video just for that one, but right now we're only talking about the capability of a capacitor, how much energy they can store. Now, first of all, we need to understand the energy storage. Energy is equal joule. Joule is equal to volt squared times capacitance in ferrets. 
divided by 2. So each of these capacitor at 3000 farad and 2.7 volt will hold 2.7 squared times 3000 is equal to 10,935 joule. So when he, when he used the four pieces of capacitor, he'll end up with about 44,000 44,000 joules. Let's round it up in the, as an equal, equal number, 44,000 joules. But when I do this 16 capacitor together and form a 21.6 volt power supply, it's four times the energy storage of four of, four of, this, four of this capacitor. So it's equal to 17,000, 17, sorry, 174,960 joules. So it's four times the four times the energy because no matter how you configure the capacitor, what each capacitor have the same amount of energy storage in joules. So it doesn't matter how you configure series parallel, whatever, 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 you still end up with the same amount of joules energy. So when you when when and people are impressed by the three thousand farads. And this, when we do that, when we do this all together in series, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, like this, for easy to understand. This is a ground. That's eight up there for the positive rail, and eight down here for the negative rail. And each string or rail is three thousand farad divided by eight, equal to three hundred seventy-five farad. So positive rail have three hundred seventy-five farad, but negative rail also have three hundred seventy-five farad. Add together, equal to seven hundred fifty farad. So when I when I said that I'm building a 750 ferret power supply at plus and minus 26 volt, I understand a lot of the lot of them, a lot of us are going to forget about the 21.6 volt and didn't pay attention to it. But they pay attention to the 750 ferret. Oh, your power supply is smaller than the 3,000 ferret power supply. In capacitance-wise, yes, it is. But when you go back to this formula. In energy storage joules, if you use the 21.6 21.6 uh, square, this one in in series, 21.6 square times 750 equal to 174,960 joules. Now, in order to for a 5.4 volt or 6 volt uh, power supply plus or minus 6 volt power supply, it has to have four of these strings together in parallel to build up to up to 12,000 farads to get the same amount of energy. So now you can see that 3,000 farad power supply is powerful. I don't doubt it. It's powerful. It's like he said in the video. It's dangerous. It's, you don't want to play with it without understanding totally what are we dealing with. The energy, the storage energy is still four times less than what you are seeing here. And we can honestly claim this power supply has only 750 farad. The other one has 3,000 farad. But, the, but this 750 farad uh, power supply at four at 21.6 volt has four times the energy storage than the lower voltage one. So next time when you look at look when you're seeing the energy of of, of, of a power supply at 3,000 farad, 6,000 farad, make sure you understand what's the voltage involved in the power supply. I think that's all I want to say today. Well, there are more things about the power supply, but like, like, like I said, operational, 
operational voltage compared to actual capacitor voltage. That's another thing that I'm going to I'm going to talk about it later. There's also a higher voltage power supply, even just 21.6 volt compared to a 5.4 volt uh, uh, power supply. Trying to raise a 21.6 volt at 750 farad is a lot more difficult than raising a 3,000 farad at 5.4 volt. 5.4 volts. Plus, are we going to use that power supply to drive a line stage equipment or an integrated amp or power amp? That's another story because when you're driving a line stage equipment, you're talking about low current. Low current can actually charge up slow using a small transformer, no big rush, no big in rush current. But when you're doing with an integrated amp or power amp, you must use a big enough transformer, which has in rush current. And when a big enough transformer with in rush current like this is a dead shot. I'm going to leave that topic later. Again, that's another topic we can we can explore in a later video. But until next time, this is the end of the video. What am I supposed to say at the end of the video? I still haven't figured out exactly what I want to say, but okay, I'm signing off now. Goodbye.